Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys the best 3 creative practice maps that you can use to get better at Fortnite. Trust me, if you grind these maps enough, you will get crazy. I'll leave all the codes in the description, but it'll also be in the video as well. And with that being said, let's begin the video. Alright, so this is going to be the first map. We're going to put the code on screen. So this has a lot of sections. It has 6 sections here, and it has basically everything you need. So let's go into weapons though. So it has a little aim section here, but choose whatever guns you want to practice with. So today I want to practice with the burst. So I'm going to get the burst, and then... But if I want to put attachments on it, let's say I want to practice the burst with the laser, then I can do that, right? So then this, you have the zero grab effect too. So then you guys can do that and then choose whatever guns you want here. And after you're good, go into the rift and then go to the next section, whatever you want to edit. But we're going to go from left to right. So you, I can show you guys everything. Bot training and custom aim training. So let's go to bot. And then it has a tracking, which I'll show you guys what this is real quick. It's just a bot. It just goes around like around you and then just track it and once you're done you shoot lobby or you could pick exit and then pump flick so turn on this right here so you don't have to waste time you can just keep shooting right there's gonna be bots that spawn around and then your goal is to shoot them and then another one would spawn so just keep shooting them and you keep going once you're done you just step out and then you go to this part so let's say let's use an ar on this one so this one's gonna be tracking as well but you guys can choose the settings here let's say i want it close so that's going to be closer to me, right? But if I want to be more farther, tracking. And then if I want it to be really far, I can just shoot long right there. But yeah, that's really it. And once you're done with this, go into the rift. But something else you guys can do is that you guys can just emote. And then you can just choose where you want to go. So I'm going to go to main lobby. And then I go to the next part. Peace control. So it has seven scenarios here with the Mongo Classic and Martaz Peak. You choose whatever scenario you want to do. So let's go into the first one just so I can give you guys a breakdown of how it works. So you just, there's like going to be an empty space here and there's a bot on the stair here. You just piece them up and do a peek just like that. It shoots you and then you just keep going. And let's say I just, I killed it and then I just keep going. And let's say I don't want to do this anymore. I shoot lobby and then I choose what other scenario I want to do. Let's say I want to do number six. Then the bot would be up here. And then I could just do whatever I want. And then dead. And let's go back to lobby so I can show you guys the other parts. All right, now edits. So this one's really good as well to practice your editing. If you guys commit to this map, you guys will get two times faster on your editing speed. But look, it has a double edit, triple edit, and then another triple edit. And then it just progressively gets harder. So this will be level one. You just do a double edit. It has a timer on the top of the screen if you guys see it. So I can see how long it took me to complete this. So let's say it took me 20 seconds to complete this one day. And then the and the next day it takes me 30 then i could see i'm going in a bad place after you make it all the way to the top there's gonna be this blue little spawner right here and you go all the way down and you guys just keep going let's say you guys are done with that part you go to this part right here it's just gonna be a single wall it's gonna be level one so it's gonna be pretty easy and there's also another timer here as you guys can see so once i reach the end i'll tell me how long it took and then here is be harder just reset and then you do the same edit but you just reset it instead so you guys get the point of that and then next part is going to be a mongrel classic it's going to be a wall and then just a stair edit just like that and this one's going to be a, a wall reset and then it just gets progressively harder as you guys can see we have a wall reset into a cone reset and then we have this a triple edit up so it's like it changes a lot so i like that because you go up there it's, not, it's just not like editing wall straight and then this one where you stair flip triple edit up like it's a lot of variety in this and then freestyle i like these two last drills Cause this you just do whatever you want if you want to do a mongrel classic you do a mongrel classic but then you want to triple it up you can triple it up right but we can do whatever you want that's why i really like these last two drills because you can just make up whatever you want to do in your mind okay now we go to the last part of the edit section it's going to be edit downs and up so you want to go into the teleporters and then it's going to spawn at the top and you just have to edit down so this is going to be like this until the fourth level i believe so yeah so if you go into these little portals you edit all the way down and then once you get to level four all the way to the end you have to edit all the way up and then once you make it to the top there'll be a rift and they'll spawn you back down all right next section is going to be build so this has 1v1 free build 90s and tunneling practice so what 1v1 is is just regular build fights so if you join with somebody you could just build fight with them or you could just go pubs or with your friends whoever you want to play with and then free build you can choose your speed if you want to go slow or if you want to go fast and it's really up to you and then you can put go back to your normal speed because if not you'll be stuck at the speed and then you can just reset build so let's say i build a lot here and i want to reset it just like that so that's really it for that let's go back into the rift 
and then 90s tunneling practice this is just like you just 90 all the way up like so like, let's say i just want to keep 90 ing like just over and over again right and then once i'm done just jump off and then you can just reset the timer reset the bills yeah all right last section is going to be the tunneling practice so this is really good for my comp players that are watching this so let's say you're trying to practice your tarping like if you're in an end game or if you want to just like protect yourself you just go like this you can go straight as you saw the other one said right and left so like you can just keep going and until you make it to the blue spot right there and it will teleport you all the way back also has a timer so you can see like how fast or slow you went and then right this would be like the same thing but instead of instead of tunneling straight you're tunneling towards the right so it's just it's just the same things really guys and once you're done you just teleport backwards up and down so it just has everything here so that'd be great for your tarping and stuff this is going to be the next map guys it's going to be crosshair practice i'll put the code on screen right now but as you guys see there's four different areas here we're going to choose this one so it has five different scenarios of different edits you do on builds and the crosshair alignment to them so we're going to go to this first one and i'll show you guys how it works so it has a wall right here and it has a red circle indicating how you should follow like you should follow the the line because it shows you like how to have good crosshair placement on the wall it shows you the correct way to like do the edit and it actually switches sides eventually so has a lot of versatility to it and then eventually it'll have a cone so it makes it more challenging as well so you have cone and switch sides as you guys can see a lot of different stuff here and then after you reach the end it tells you it's used completed and then you could just do the rest so i'll show you guys an example of another one this would be just a ramp just do an edit you can do it this way or that way whatever you want to do but that's going to be the main part of it now on to aim and edit so this is going to be like crosshair placement for an, a build and then into a shot so let's go to the first one so it's going to be a peanut butter follow the line you align your crosshair onto the bot or i guess the red circle here the target so then you jump and do that right just do the peaks all of that so follow the line and then you can just place yourself right to shoot the bot just keep going but that's that part and now onto the free build section so it's pretty similar to the same one but you could just shoot fast normal or slow let's go slow just practice your edits right obviously and then yeah everybody knows how this works so yeah and then fast mode all of that so let's go back to lobby afterwards and then peace control so this is going to be pretty similar to the last map it's going to have a lot of these drills right here so let's go to this first one so if you guys don't know how to do this you could just go to the tutorial and it'll show you so it shows you the crosshair placement so this will be a triple edit as you guys can see a triple edit into full boxing the bot and then shooting it right then click next and this shows you the other side of it and now let's go to play and then we can just do what they just did so let's do a triple edit and then we full box the bot and then shoot him if you guys want to put a ramp too that's gonna do that and then yeah all right it's gonna be our last map it's gonna be a headshot only boss fight map with pumps so i'll put the code on the screen right now and as you can see it just like box fights but the only way you can kill someone was with the max headshot i'm trying to get a kill right here there you go that's one elam right there two elams The good thing about this map, it helps with your crosshair placement, like, on aim. Because you want to be aiming for headshots when you're, like, trying to pump somebody. Because obviously a headshot's going to hit more than a body shot. The builds also reset, as you guys just saw. So, like, obviously the builds aren't just going to stay. So that makes it, like, more fun because it just keeps... I think it resets every minute or two minutes. I'm not completely sure. The way to do this map is that you can just um you could do it with friends but i recommend doing it for at, like with at least two friends or more because it'll be boring if you just have one person and but, I, but the thing you want to do is go into public matches with this because that'll give you the most practice possible because there's the there's gonna be like a lot of people right now there's like 10 12 people so there's a lot of people that play this map so just go into public uh play some rounds with all these people and then you can also change your crosshair if you want i recommend using default or oh, just disappeared oh there you go I recommend using default because that's going to be like the actual one but um you can choose whatever you want and we're pretty much good there that's it for the video guys hope these maps help you improve at fortnite subscribe and leave a like down below and it'll be very much appreciated if you guys did that and i'll see you guys in the next video